Lydia and Shariar would like to profess before us all their intention to walk the path of life together. They are born to be together and together they shall be forever. The Baha'i writings describe marriage as a true relationship, a union that will endure in all the worlds of God. My dearest Lydia, little did we know when we first met on Zoom that we, we, we would one day be standing before one another in person on this perfectly sunny wedding day. With all my heart, I thank you for your courage when you took a chance with a medical intern in a city far away in the midst of a pandemic, for your love, which is kind, patient, boundless, and embracing of me and all of my quirks. I promise to never take for granted our love. I will always treasure it as a gift from God. With you, I will walk through this world and discover new meaning in our experiences together. To you, I will listen with an open heart so we can be united in all things. And for you, I will keep my car tank at least one quarter full <laughs> because I know how important it is to you. <laughs> you are my perfect match and I look forward to taking this first step together, the first of many in our marriage. Lydia, I love you with all my heart. To my dearest Shariar, words cannot express how I feel that we are joining our lives together and entering our eternal union. From the day I first met you behind a computer screen in March 2020, I knew that there was something special about you and that our paths crossed for a reason. Navigating a cross-country relationship in the midst of a global pandemic was not always easy, but you were always so supportive and wonderful through it all. I promise to love you unconditionally, respect you, care for you, honor you, and cherish you today and every day. I promise to stand by you and be your greatest advocate. Today we begin our journey together in all the worlds of God. I love you very much, Harrier, and I look forward to forever with you. I hear you, lady. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I thought I was. You were supposed to cry. <laughs> I am crying. <laughs> So the bride and groom have tasked me to give a detailed history of their childhood, their experiences growing up, and to do it justice, I've been allocated around an hour, 16 minutes. Lydia was in her apartment in Palo Alto, and we suggested that she drive down to be together with us and to come to San Diego, and she was working from home. But while she was at home during that time, Lydia's social outlet was getting together with friends on Zoom. And I remember asking her 
Is there anyone on Zoom in particular that you like? And her response was, there is one person, but he lives in Missouri. As the Baha'i writings tell us, your marriage partner is predestined. And if the perfect opportunity arose to meet in person in 3D instead of on a computer screen, and the spark was ignited, and over the next several months, the friendship grew and love blossomed. Uh, sometimes I'm thinking uh, that we can do something in our life that we do not know the you know, significance of it to the future and how great that could be, even with a small, tiny act of kindness. This union, really, it's both spiritual and physical. And it's not only the union between two individuals, but between two families. wondered who Lydia could possibly meet who would have the same ideals and approach to life. Enter Sharia. Sharia, when we first met you, we immediately felt as if we had always known you and seemed like you had forever been part of the family. No words can express how joyful and excited we are. And then when we heard about Lydia, from Shariar, we were so excited to know that our prayers have been answered. It's taken me into early adulthood to truly appreciate how fortunate I am to have Lydia as a sister. We might not have listened to the same music, played the same sports, or had many of the same hobbies. I don't think I've explicitly said this to you, but I look up to how you conduct yourself. I'm proud to call you my sister and can't wait till when I have a wife, I'm single still, but when I have a wife and we both have kids for our families to spend time together. And so over the course of those couple years, it's just been so wonderful to really, truly, you know, get to know Lydia and her, you know, wonderful qualities. We have wonderful, like we have very similar tastes in music as well. Um, you know, we sometimes just dance on Zoom, you know, a little bit. I am truly happy and I can see how much you bring so much joy to my brother. And so I am very grateful. Um, in the first moments of being in Shariar's presence, I could sense in him the same qualities that make you so special. I'm proud of you, I love you, Shariar, you're a special guy, and I know you know my sister as well, so love both of you. The old cliche is so true. Instead of losing a daughter, I'm gaining a truly amazing son. And indeed, Shariar is truly a wonderful human being and a wonderfully kind, compassionate, and caring soul who has immediately entered into our hearts and is so comfortable there. Please raise your glasses to Lydia and Shariar, to new beginnings, and to a wonderful life together. Mm -hmm.